Hey everybody, Chris Turk with Up North Air Gunner. Today I'm here at the Michigan DNR Rose Lake Shooting Range and we are at the Chief of Wildlife's meeting. So there's Chiefs of Wildlife from a lot of different Midwest states here. Uh, they've shown up for us to do a big bore air gun demonstration today. And so today we're gonna be looking at a couple different uh, technologies. Um, we're gonna be kind of a little bit of a history lesson about where big bore air guns have come from over the last 15 years or so. So we're showing some of the, uh, the Korean uh, Seneca Dragon Claw and the Light Hunter 909, 45 and 50 caliber. We're gonna be showing the Air Force Texans in the 357 and the 45. As you all know, that's the gun I actually uh, got my deer with last year. And today we are very excited to have a guest with us. We have Kyle, the engineer from Umarex, shooting the uh, hammer. So we've actually had the 50 cal Umarex hammer here today for demonstration. And I'll tell you what, I mean, that thing is a beast. We just did a couple uh, uh, shots to check our zero. Man, that thing is, it's a hammer. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. So yeah, so we're basically here today to uh, educate the, uh, the DNR officials and to show them the uh, effectiveness and the ethical nature for hunting with these big bore uh, air guns. So we're also demoing the air bolt technologies. So uh, Crossman has the air bow and Air Venturi came out with a system and there's just a lot of innovation going on right now shooting arrow based and bolt based projectiles out of air guns. Here in Michigan, uh, they are considering changing or adjusting some of the regulations to allow basically what we hope is to be all projectiles or any projectile from an air gun. And we have a lot of other Midwest states here that are just now getting into creating legislation and regulations to allow for big bore air gun hunting in those states. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna send a lot of lead downrange, use up a lot of air, and we're super excited to, uh, to basically show the world what we already know, that big bore air gun hunting is here to stay. It's awesome fun. And uh, yeah, all right, so here, let's check it out. I'm here with Kyle from Umrex. So am I gonna get scoped, dude? No, not. <laughs> All right, so let's, hopefully I won't get scoped. Here we go. Holy <laughs> Dude, that is freaking awesome, man. Dude, that is freaking no joke. <laughs> so what do you think? Cool. Yeah, yeah, so that's the 45 Texan. Um, most guys that are getting into deer hunting choose the 45 caliber. <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so you put those crosshairs right in the middle of the bag and just squeeze the trigger in it. That's a dead deer. So yeah, we also had a lot of other wildlife agency officials from other states, um, from the Midwest, uh, coming here, seeing what we're all about here in Michigan with our big boar air gun hunting. And in that process, I definitely wanted to show the air bolt technology, basically the ability to shoot arrows from an air gun. And the challenge we've had up to this point, quite honestly, is finding a way to actually stop these things. So these are uh, flying at um, 550 feet per second out of the Air Force Texan. And we tried pretty much every crossbow bag on the market. We could not find anything in our local sporting goods stores. So I stumbled onto a company actually here in Michigan, and they are Spiderweb Targets. Spiderweb Targets out of St. Joseph, Michigan. So I called them up, I said, hey, we're doing this demo shoot with the DNR, and we just can't find a way to stop this thing. You know, could your target stop a projectile that is going this fast, and that has this much energy and velocity coming out of our Air Force Texan? So yeah, I talked to Kelly from Spiderweb targets and he said yeah it's gonna stop it and he has a new target line called the no limits 
basically no speed limit uh, line of targets. And today I'm shooting the uh, ST24XL. So this is a 24 inch target and I will tell you what, this is absolutely perfect. If you're getting into big bore air guns with the air bolt technologies or if you're shooting the Benjamin Airbow, this thing is awesome. So not only does it have the density it needs to actually stop the target, the, um, the projectiles were only going in maybe four inches. And the previous things we were shooting, it was zipping all the way through. I mean, this was going through two crossbow bags, an old hot tub cover, five bales of hay, everything we put in front of it, you just couldn't stop it. What's awesome about this, when I pull it out, it's basically comes out with two fingers. So stops it, comes right out with just two fingers. So if you are getting into big bore air gunning, if you're getting into um, the airbow technologies, if your state allows it for uh, hunting, or if you buy a kit and you just wanna get into it to just to try it out. So definitely spider web targets is the way to go. These guys are awesome. Kelly, thank you so much for sponsoring this shoot today. It went really well. We were able to demonstrate the power and the ethical use of these projectiles for hunting here in Michigan. It is still illegal. It is not uh, an allowed projectile yet, but we are in the conversation with the proper officials and we will continue that conversation. So stay tuned. Thanks again. This is Chris with Up North Air Gunner.